The standard workplace dress code for most men is shirt and tie. But how do you make sure you look top notch? Instead of wearing five different ties to work each day of the week, try mixing it up with different knots. The rules of the shirt and tie are simple. First, consider the shirt color. Work shirts come in different colors, from white to medium and narrow or button downs. White colors call for a wider knot, and narrow colors demand a smaller knot. Your tie should sit just on the belt, not too far above or below it. The four in hand is the easiest knot for a narrow or button down. It's also the fastest to tie. Simply cross the white end over the narrow end of your tie, loop it around once, bring it over the front end of your loop, and tighten. For a medium collar, or someone with a wider neck but wearing a narrow collar, would recommend the half windsor. Start with the white end over the narrow, loop it around once, and bring the white end up and over the right side of the tie, loop it around once more to the back and over the front end of the knot, and tighten. For a white collar, go for the full windsor, which is essentially the same as a half windsor, but add an extra loop over the left end of the tie as well, giving you a wider and balanced triangle knot. Finally, always remember the tie crease in the middle of the white end. Add a tie pin for style, which should sit just above the second button of your shirt to secure a tie. For a proper formal occasion, use a bow tie instead. Tying a bow tie isn't too difficult. It's tying a butterfly knot, but looping it around the back instead of the front. Take the longer end of the bow tie and loop it around the back. Form half a bow with the shorter end, take the other end and push it through the loop at the back to create the opposite end of the bow. Finally, tighten to your comfort. It's important to make sure you find a bow length that fits your neck size and every man should be able to tie a bow tie. Don't go with a prefix one, it's definitely sharper.